Right, an era is ending, yeah. right? The men's soccer team at UMBC will never be the same. That's because their leader is stepping away. Tonight, Bobo, the wheel, Big Tom, the face, and Eels are on their feet, saluting the legend that followed in them. And that was Coach Pete Karinji Jr. WMAR 2 News, Sean Stepner spoke with the retiring coach today in Catonsville. His name is synonymous with soccer in Baltimore. After a lifetime in the game, Pete Karinji Jr. is hanging up the whistle. I did it my way. Like, I, I, uh, I tried to do it the right way, and, you know, I enjoyed it. After 32 seasons as head coach of the UMBC men, Karinji announcing his retirement. I love coaching my team. I love the players. Uh, I love, this is what I've done my whole life. I wanted to end it on a good note. The notes on his career numbers, astonishing. 320 wins, 11 conference championships. Go, ready! A National Coach of the Year honor, a member of five Halls of Fame, never had back-to-back -back losing seasons. His 2014 Retriever squad advancing to the College Cup, the final four of the NCAA tournament. Most people thought it was impossible. Um, but we didn't. He's the godfather of Baltimore soccer. Yeah, we, we always joke about it. Everybody knows him, and you won't find anybody that has one bad thing to say about him. The 67-year-old who grew up in Highland Town won a national championship as a player at University of Baltimore, played professionally, and impacted so many across Maryland. Says he'll still be around the fields, involved at UMBC and locally, just not barking out the plays and choosing the lineups. When you think about all the years and all the lives you touched, how do you sum it up? Uh, I think I've been blessed, you know, to coach all these years in your hometown, have tremendous amount of success, meet a lot of people. I never did it for the money. I did it for the love for the game. So I think that'll be my legacy. As for who will now take over the Retrievers, Athletics Director Brian Berrio tells me they've been planning for this and that a transition to the new coach will be quick and will be announced before Karinji officially retires on April 1st. In Catonsville, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News.